All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be practicing calculating density by getting the volume of objects by using Archimedes Overflow Cam, how we determine the volume of an irregularly shaped object. So the first step is to take your object, let's say I'm doing this uh, purple cylinder here. I get its mass, you all know how to do that. So this would be 10.8, and you record that in the mass column. 10.8 grams. You then have to figure out the volume. Now that's a little harder to do, how much space it takes up. But Archimedes made it real simple for us. All you do is you take your overflow can that Archimedes invented. Thank you, Archimedes. We fill it up completely until it stops overflowing. Make sure your graduated cylinder's empty. Put the funnel on. Oops, and if you knock it like that, well then, refill it again because you have to make sure it's totally full each time you go to use it. And now we carefully put that under. And what we're going to do now is we use the tweezers and we carefully lower the object into the container of water. Now what happens is pretty uh, simple yet pretty amazing. When this goes under the water, it displaces a volume of water equal to its own volume. So this volume and that volume are the same thing. But since this is liquid, we can easily measure it in milliliters. So we have to go down, look at the scale here, and this looks like it, this goes to half milliliters on this particular one, so you're going to have to be a little more careful. So that'd be five, six, seven, eight. That looks like the meniscus, bottom of the meniscus, is right at eight milliliters. Now that's also eight cubic centimeters. And that's the, the great thing of that is in the metric system, one cubic centimeter equals one milliliter. So there's no conversion, you just use the number. Now remember, to calculate density, you take mass divided by volume. So all you do is take 10.8 grams divided by eight cubic centimeters equals 1.35 grams per cubic centimeter is its density. And that is how you go about calculating the density. So in the lab today, you're to use aluminum, brass, iron, and copper. See how close you get. If you're way off, you might want to retry to see where you went wrong, but try to get fairly close. This is the actual range that professional scientists get. You might get something close. Um, then when you're ready for your challenge medal, we're actually gonna do uh, various plastics. Uh, call me over, I'll give you one. And if you can hit it uh, very close, you can pick up some extra credit. Okay, go back and get her done.